That's some aggressive attack on that baseline. That came from Fayetteville, North Carolina, John. It felt like it. Four point Charlotte lead, three minutes to go. Butler pump fakes and finishes. Jimmy Butler is a monster down there. He's got 26 points now. Got to dig in on this end right now. The Miami just giving up too many baskets. Going to the rim right now. Individual one on one matchups contain the guy with the ball. Charlotte shooting 51% tonight. Rozier missed it. Bam brings down his 12th rebound of the game. Bam out of bio with a double double, his fourth of the year. But the Heat are down by two. Two and a half minutes left. Jimmy from the corner. Yes. Six points in the fourth quarter for Jimmy Butler. He has even the game at 100. Butler has 28. Loves that mid-range jumper. Oubre playing him drive there. Slid to that right-hand side on the baseline. Fans on their feet here in Miami. Jenna Smith Jr. with three on the shot clock. Better hurry, fella. Gets it off. Makes it. Oh my, Dennis Smith Jr. with four straight points for Charlotte. They're ahead by two. Butler, a force three. He was looking for the foul. No whistle blew, and it turned out to be just a bad shot. Now pressure on Miami's defense. Right now it's a one possession game. A score by Charlotte would change that. Dennis Smith Jr. out to Roji. Eight on the shot clock. Edge of your seat time, folks. Smith Jr. missing the three. Flumley down with the offensive rebound. Oubre Jr. missed what could have been a dagger. Gabe Vincent bursting out of the gates. Here comes Jimmy against Plumley. He made a difficult shot. Ties the game at 102. A spectacular score for Jimmy Butler over the top of an excellent shot blocker in Plumley. Oh, he led with that left shoulder, too. Went chest to chest, shoulder to chest with Plumley, and he wins. A minute left in the game. Tied game at 102. Dennis Smith. Oubre Jr. with too much room, but he missed it. And the rebound to Bam. 46 seconds left in the game. In the hands of Butler. Jimmy Butler tonight with 30 points. A season high. Look at him go. Yeah, baby. Jimmy Butler taking the game over. He has 32. Miami leads it 104 to 102. ahead goes right at Plumley, leading with the shoulder and able to convert that shot let Plumley know I'm the man right there in Miami two-point lead kind of the two-game losing streak Rozier using two screens 30 seconds left in the game this is Dennis Smith Jr. gets into the lane and scores to even the game at 104. Dennis Smith Jr. had six points through three quarters. He has scored six points here on the fourth quarter and Butler to choose from. Can't find the anybody. Ball. And Kyle takes a timeout. Six and a half seconds left in a tied game. The easy entry to Gabe Vincent in the hands of the man they want, Jimmy Butler. Got 32 points, folks. Let the clock wind down with Jalen McDaniels defender. Eight on the shot clock. Lowry sets the screen. Three on the shot clock. Butler from the baseline. Offensive foul. Oh, a possession that did not go well. Butler just held the ball. Time was ticking down, and then he had to force the action and committed an offensive foul. Looked like he hit him, but this looks like a legal play here on, on, on the initial review here. I, I don't see enough of a push-off where he extends the arm. He definitely leaned in, but that was legal when you lean in with the shoulder. He didn't extend that left arm. That's Dennis Smith Jr. to send it in. This is Rogier with three. With two for three in the win. You got five extra minutes to spend with us here in downtown Miami. Ten. Lowry with five on the shot clock. Tough one over Rogier. It goes. The Heat lead at 111 to 109. Just ten points tonight for Lowry, but those were two big ones. 
Just under two minutes left here in overtime. Eight on the shot clock for Sharp. B.J. Washington, oh my. Got past Butler, nobody home to help. Oh, a rare gamble there by Jimmy Butler to take himself out of position allows Washington to turn the corner and get downhill all the way to the rim. Tied at a buck 11. Lowry for Bam, flies in, Plumley commits the foul. I love that kind of action getting. Now that's when you find out how much you aim on the line. Bam is six for six. He puts the heat up 113 to 111. This is Rogier working against Struess. Off the spin. He got fouled. Terration at the line. Aha! He makes that one. It's a one-point game. 12 left in the game in overtime. Jimmy Butler pops out. He's guarded by P.J. Washington. An even one minute left. Jimmy drives. Missed it. Rebound. Plumlee. Plumlee with 15 rebounds tonight. He had 12 boards last night. That's right. The Hornets playing on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Rogier driving in on Bam. Scoops it up. Missed it. And Bam with his 14th rebound. That's an excellent defensive possession there. Being able to get inside the fed without fouling and come down with that defensive rebound. They rise to their feet again here in the Heat House. 25 seconds left in overtime. Yeah, 14 second differential. Five on the shot clock. Jimmy, a pull up from 20. No. Rebound to Rogier with 14.8 seconds left. Jalen McDaniels to inbound for Charlotte. And Kelly Oubre Jr. He traveled! Oh my goodness, Kelly Oubre Jr. traveled. It's the 21st turnover on Charlotte. Can you believe that? That is an absolute shocker. But Oh, oh he's right. yes, oh, Jason Goble was Jason right Goble. on top of it. Inbounds to Vincent. They're chasing him. They don't foul him until then with his free first throw. free throws of the game for him. Now Lowry going to get off the inbounder and try to make a play where the opening is. Into Rogier forces up a three off the side of the board. The inbound to Vincent. Hornets got to foul him, and they find Vincent. And he makes four straight free throws here in the overtime. They lead it 117 to 112. That should do it. Washington does not get it off in time, and the Heat win the game. Well, Miami does get their 11th straight game over 80% from the free throw shooting line, and those free throws help hold off the Hornets.